Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby and today I'm going to be doing my 2018 favorites part two. I already did a part one with all the thrillers and mystery books that I read that were my favorites. I will link that one down below, but today I'm gonna to be doing all like the romance, contemporary women's fiction. I have a historical fiction and then one that's like kind of in between like a uh, women's fiction and a suspense. So didn't really know where to categorize it. I have over 10 books to talk about so I'm going to get right into it. I will link all of them down below as well as my Goodreads and I would love to hear what you guys thought were your favorite books in 2018. So I'm going to get right into it. So I'll get my ebook out of the way. The One of my favorites was by Candy Steiner called On the Way to You. I hadn't read a Candy Steiner in a couple of years and I absolutely loved this one. It was about a girl, I can't remember her name, but she's lived in a small town and hasn't really done anything with her life, never left where she's lived, never traveled, and that her biggest dream is to move across the country and live her life. And she does have a prosthetic leg and feels like it holds her back and she's not close to her parents. And one day at her waitressing job, she meets a really cute guy and he offers to go across the country with her. He's traveling to her dream city of Seattle. And he says, why don't you come with me? And she thinks he's joking, but he's not. And she takes a trip with him all the way there. And they have a romance that forms. And this book got me in the feels. I was crying in it. It was so good. I loved the characters, both of them. They were so damaged and equally strong. And I just love Candy Steiner's writing. I read a few of her books this year, but this one was by far my favorite. And then another one I loved. I also liked the second book in the series, but this one I liked the most. And the third book just came out and it's called The Ones Who Got Away by Ronnie Lauren. It's in this little mass market paperback, but that is okay. Like I said, love this book. I mean, love all of these. This one is about a group of girls and a guy who survived a school shooting many years ago and now it's years later and they're all reconvening at the school for like a documentary and there's this woman named Liv and she really liked a man called Finn and they haven't seen each other in a long time and now that she's back to visit for the documentary they meet back up and a romance ensues and this was amazing it was steamy it was dramatic it was just so good and I liked, you know, kind of the school shooting aspect of it. It added definitely a sense of sadness to it. And this was so good. And I just loved how messed up both of the characters were and how much they actually truly wanted to be together. And I'm really excited. I just pre-ordered the third book in the series. I'm so excited to read it. And then another one that came out, I think it came out this year. It's All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover so good this one is about a couple who have been dealing with infertility for years and it's breaking their marriage apart their marriage is not what it started out as so you're seeing basically their marriage fall apart but concurrently you're also seeing alternating chapters of how they met and how they fell in love so you're seeing half of it them falling in love and them breaking apart and this one tore my heart out but it's so good and i just i loved the characters and i loved seeing their love story equally as much as it was so hard to see them basically fall out of love. So good, highly recommend. I just love anything that Colleen Hoover writes. And then another favorite author, I read two books this year for her. It was Taylor Jenkins Reid, Man Oh Man, her books are amazing. So one of them was Maybe In Another Life, and this is about a girl named Hannah. She comes back home She's been, I forget why, but she comes back home and is living with her friend. The first night back, they go to a bar as like a little party. She sees a guy that she fell in love with in high school and they haven't seen each other in years. And that night he flirts with her. He basically wants to get back with her. And she has two options at the end of the night to either leave with him or leave with her friend. And it shows basically what happens if she leaves with him or her friend. And it shows two timelines the whole book. And this book was so good and I think the best part about it was the moral of the story is that no matter what choices she made, her life kind of ended up the same in the end. And in both storylines, she had a man in her life and she thought he was her soulmate and they were two different guys. But you have to decide, oh, which, which choice was better and honestly, they were both equally as good. And I thought I had a favorite like storyline the whole time, but then I get to the end and they're both amazing and amazing for her. And this one just got me. 
Um, I just love Taylor Jenkins Reid writing. And then this one I liked even more, and this is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Everyone has talked about it. I think it came out in 2017, so it's already been talked about so much, but it is about a celebrity in old Hollywood named Evelyn Hugo. She has this woman writing her life story, and she basically talks about her whole life, and there's a huge, like, bomb at the end, like a plot twist, and this was so good. I just loved it. It's been talked about probably so much, so I don't need to say much, but if you haven't read it, this is a must. And it's kind of historical fiction as well. I just love like the old Hollywood vibes it gives. And then I read the whole series of this, but I think the first book is my favorite. It's the Come Back to Me series by Mila Gray. Um, I did a whole video reviewing this series, but it's a military romance and it's about a girl who's graduating high school. Her brother and her brother's best friend are in the military, I think the Marines, and she's been basically in love with her brother's best friend since teenagehood, so for years. And now he's back for the summer, only for the summer until they deploy again, and basically they have a romance that starts. And in the beginning of the book you know that um, she finds out that someone died while deployed and it's either her boyfriend or her brother. And so the whole time you're wondering who it is, and this is heartbreaking, it is steamy it is just everything and I am partial to military romance books because I'm a military spouse myself so these ones get me right in the feels and then I have a Lindsay Kelk book on here her books are so cute I just they make me laugh they're really funny and this is a really good one because it focuses on social media and I thought that was kind of funny it's about a girl named Annie she works for her own business that does like social media marketing type of deal and there's this these guys that work in her building and they tease her that she can't um really like her job is pointless and she bets them that she can make anyone instagram famous so they pick the next guy that walks through the door which is this recluse not really attractive guy and he works in the building as well he's writing his own book so she befriends him and she makes him over and he's not very like He's really grumpy, he seems not very likable, but in reality he is likable, he just has a broken heart, and she makes him over, makes him Instagram famous, and they have a romance, and a lot of crazy things happen along the way. Really good, I think it came out this past year, not 100%, but one in a million, so good. And then a Christmas book I loved is The Christmas Sisters by Sarah Morgan. It's my first Sarah Morgan, and I loved it. It's about a family in Scotland, they have three daughters, three adopted daughters, and it's Christmas time. They're all going to be meeting at their parents' house for Christmas. Two are coming from New York. One lives in the hometown in Scotland. <clears throat> and Christmas time is really hard because these three daughters are adopted. The, their parents were best friends with their birth parents, and when they passed away, the, their parents adopted them. So they don't like coming home for a multitude of reasons. One daughter is dealing with a big life change. She's really career oriented, but she finds out she is going to be expecting another member to her life. And she's kind of trying to deal with that. One of the sisters, she's the middle sister. She is married. She has two kids. Her husband wants to have another kid. She wants to go back to work. She wants to be more than just a mom. And so she's trying to handle that. And the third sister is the youngest. She lives back in her hometown with the parents and she's running their bakery and she feels like she can't really travel or do anything because she will let her parents down. So they all are struggling with different stages in their life and it's just a really heartwarming story and perfect for Christmas and this one I, I loved. And then I read three Kristen Higgins books this year and I wanted to just pick one that was my favorite but I couldn't. I love all of them. I have a fourth book of hers but I haven't read it yet called Good Luck With That. But the first one I read is If Only If You Only Knew. And this one is about two sisters. One of the sisters moves back to the town that her second sister lives in. She is dealing with a new business. She her husband and her broke up and now he's remarried and having a baby, so she just needs to get away. Her sister, I think her name is Rachel. She seems like she has the perfect marriage. She has two daughters. No, sorry, triplet daughters and she finds out her husband's cheating on her. So they both are dealing with different things in their life and their relationship strengthens. And this is a great book about love and sisterhood. 
and it's just really really good I just love her books they're a little deeper than just a traditional like women's fiction it definitely hits some hard-hitting topics and this was so good and then I read on second thought which takes place in actually the same town as if you only knew some of the characters overlap and I can't quite remember what this one was about I just know that looks like her this girl she's been broken up with and basically she turns to her sister and it's another uh, sister's book and this one was so good that I just I can't quite remember what it's about but I just remember it's so good I, I love her books I just another sister book and another like hard hitting book and then this one I just read so I definitely remember it this is about a girl named Nora she now that you mention it it's a girl named Nora she's a doctor she gets hit by a van one night and her boyfriend breaks up with her all in one night so she moves back home to Scupper Island with her mom and her mom also has her niece staying there because her sister is in jail and for Nora it's really hard to be home because she has a lot of negative memories there and she has a romance in Sue with a guy named Soli who lives there from her past from her high school and you basically go through her memories of her childhood and of her being a teenager and how hard it was for her and this one was a very very touching story and then this one I don't know if you'd consider it like suspense or what it would be but it is pretending to dance by diane chamberlain it's about a woman who she is married and they're about to adopt a child and she knows that the adoption process they are going to look into her past and is a past she's lied about and never wanted anyone to know about her husband doesn't even know basically she said her whole family was dead but that's not the truth and some bad things happened to her in her past and we basically go back and learn what that was and what it means to her present um, and this was so good it's my first Diane Chamberlain and I definitely was super impressed by this one and maybe should have been in the suspense category but so good and then last but not least is a historical fiction it was my favorite one of the year I only read a handful of historical fiction so I didn't think to make a whole video about it and it is The Nightingale by Chris and Hannah this is another sister story Chris and Hannah writes really good stories about women like best friends or sisters and the books that I have read I really liked by her it's about two sisters in World War II in I think France and one of the sisters is married and her husband is gone off to fight with the French and because she lives close to I think all what's going on she has to house a Nazi in her home and it's a very hard situation money is scarce food is scarce and her sister comes to live with her but her sister does not want to just sit around so she leaves and starts being part of a rebel group and they um, smuggle pilots like British and American pilots over the border I forget into what country but over the Pyrenees mountains and so it's both of their stories and they're not really close sisters but they start to be brought together and you know that one of the sisters isn't alive anymore at the end but you're not sure who and this story was so good so heartbreaking and if you haven't read it I would highly recommend it so those are all of my favorite books of 2018 part two like I said I'll link them all down below as well as my goodreads I'd love to hear what you guys have been reading what your favorites are and I'll see you guys on my next one bye